everyone welcome back to my channel so for the very first time I've done Senegalese crochet braids I've never done anything like this before I've never had freestyle braids or anything like that so this is definitely something very different and I really really love them um, they're very neat I've had them in for almost a week and a half now the only downside is that they're extremely heavy and it kind of pulls right in the middle of my head I want to say this is 28 or 30 inches I definitely didn't want them this long but this was the only um length that they had in the color that I wanted this is the color number four which is my natural hair color um I really really love them I decided to push mine back here I know some people want to start their braid all the way up here to have it in the front but I felt like that would be too much tension on my edges and I definitely wanted to show my little baby hairs and stuff like that so I had my friend braid my um braids back a little bit more on one side than the other because I wear it this way more often and I used a different technique when I crocheted them in so hopefully you guys like this video if you have any questions then comment below and make sure you like and subscribe and let me know about any other hair options you want to do um want me to do in the future all right hope you enjoy all right y'all so first off make sure you wash and dry your hair and my friend is braiding my hair back into cornrows and that way I can do a versatile part so I can flip my part on either side. But you can do your braiding style however you want. So this is the finished outcome. Girls hang time is on fleek, okay? Hair is definitely growing. All right, so now we're braiding my ends down. She just crisscrossed them and then sewed them in on either side. Make sure that you sew them down rather flat so that way your braids aren't too bumpy. Especially in the back because you don't want it to be really bulky if you were trying to put your hair into like a ponytail or something. Alright, so this is the hair that I used. It was called Caribbean something. Don't quote me on the name. It is 30 inches and it's in the color 4. I will not do this length again because it felt so heavy on my head. These little braids really can make your head feel like an extra 10 pounds. And this is the little tool you need. You can get it from the beauty supply store. They just threw it in our bag, so I guess it was free. And these little jewels were 99 cents. All you're gonna do, there's a close-up of the tool, is take the end of your twist and latch it onto the latch. Now, I'm definitely not no expert, and it took me forever to do this little bitty part right here because I just could not really get the end of the braid to open up. But once I got it, I got it. And then after that, it was just, and excuse my friend, y'all. He was trying to promote his big tape. Okay, so now I'm about to get a little bit closer up so that way you all can see. I start from the very beginning of the braid itself, not necessarily my hair. And you want to gently pull it through so that way you don't rip your actual hair and just slide right on through and then gently push the braid up. Now in the very front I did my twist close together and you'll see later on in the video that I do all of the edges first and then do the back of my hair. I got really nervous since these twists were so small that I didn't get enough packs of hair so that's why I did the front first and then I you know just measured out how much I needed for the back of my hair. But I definitely used my fingers as a guide from the very beginning because I really couldn't see that well in the mirror.